Okay, welcome back to part two of how to save and back up your Minecraft Pocket Edition worlds on an iOS device. So here is the screen from my iPhone, and you see I have um, many apps, and I'm going to go over here to this screen here where I have Dragon Veil Game Center and Minecraft Pocket Edition. And let's say the worst thing happens. And maybe you could lose your iPhone, you could break it, you could anything could happen to it. Maybe you give it to your kid brother or your little sister or your dad and they do something that's very bad. Let's say they delete your Minecraft from the device. I hope you don't do this, but let's, you know, you have the X there and let's say it was deleted. And they said, oh yeah, I'm going to go ahead and delete it and I'm going to delete and it's going to delete all the data. Oh no, Minecraft is now gone. Minecraft is now gone. Now, what am I going to do? Well, I could go into the App Store, of course, and I could say, um, I could go down here and I can search for Minecraft. And I could say, well, I bought it once, so I know I don't have to buy it. I'm just going to download it. So I'm going to download Minecraft Pocket Edition back to my iOS device, and hopefully everything will be all right. So it's almost finished downloading from the App Store. Okay, so let's see. There it is. There's the new Minecraft Pocket Edition. It's down in the lower right-hand corner. So let's open it up. Okay, so now we have our Minecraft here. So I'm going to go into play and see what happens. Oh, no. We have no worlds. My little brother just deleted my Minecraft, and I do not have any of my worlds anymore. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm so upset. Hey, never fear. If you backed up your worlds like I showed you in part one, you can bring them back onto your iOS device and continue going like nothing ever happened. But before you do that, you do need to create at least one world on your device. So if you create a world and you could call it anything, but um, I'm going to call it first. I'm just going to create it first and we'll do it in creative and create the world. So now there's our world. Go back out. We'll quit to title. And if we go back into play, now you see we have our first world creative. You do have to create, if you're starting over and you're trying to bring worlds that you have saved onto a new iOS device, then you have to first create a world. Now, if you have um, another device and you are bringing those saved worlds onto that device, it's going to replace any worlds you have on there. So when we restore the worlds that we have saved from part one of this series, it's going to replace this test world that we just created, the one that's called first. It won't be there anymore, but we will get our worlds back that we have saved. So if you get your a new device or you get a device and you start building a couple worlds, uh, you don't want to do that before you back up your worlds first, or you bring your worlds back onto your device first. So bring your old worlds back on first, and then you can start creating new worlds, and life will be wonderful from that point forward. And hopefully that mistake will never, ever happen again. All right. So now I'm going to move into showing you how to get those worlds from your saved folder on your computer now into the new Minecraft Pocket Edition that you have now with just this one world called First. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so now we're ready to bring those Minecraft worlds that we had saved in part one onto the new Minecraft that we just reloaded onto our iPhone. So make sure you connect your 
iPhone or your iOS device to your computer, again, using that lightning cable, and connect that to your computer and then start iTunes. So here we're going to go into iTunes. And you see right here we have my iPhone connected. So I'm going to click on that little iPhone icon right there. And then we get this screen. Actually, again, remember, you, it should come up to the summary screen, but it has information there that's uh, uh, private. It has the registration number for this iPhone, which I don't really want to share. So anyway, I went in here to this apps area. And this is where, if you remember, this is where we went to save to back up the worlds. And this is the same area we're going to bring the worlds back now onto this iPhone. As we did before, we're going to scroll down into until we get to the file sharing area. And so we'll just keep scrolling down until we get to file sharing. So there we are. There's file sharing. And Minecraft Pocket Edition is there because we reloaded it onto the iPhone after my little brother deleted Minecraft and all the worlds from it. So it's back on there. So we're going to single click on that Minecraft Pocket Edition there in the apps area. And now down here, as you see, we have these buttons, add and save to. We're going to click on this button here, add. So just single click on add. This brings up this folder here, and I'm just going to go back here to my desktop, and you'll see here we have the Minecraft PE Backup World folder that we had. So I'm going to click on that, and then remember we saved those into this folder here, the MCPE 62616. That's where we saved our last backup of our Minecraft Worlds to. So we're going to go into that folder. So double click on that folder. And we have this folder inside there called games. Now with your left button, just single click on that folder. Just single click. Do not double click. Just single click. Okay, and it's highlighted. And we're going to go over here and we're going to click add. You have cancel and add. So now click on add. Now it says, this pop-up comes up, it says, a newer item named Games already exists in this location. Do you want to replace it with the one you are moving? And remember, if you say replace, then any worlds that you have on your iPhone or your iPad will be replaced with the ones that we are now restoring. But remember, since we had Minecraft deleted, or let's say you get a brand new phone and you get Minecraft back on it, and you don't have any worlds, then what we're doing here, this step, we are, that's what we want to do. We want to bring all those worlds that we have saved, which remember the three worlds, and we want to put them on my new iPad. So we indeed, in this situation, we are going to click replace. Okay, so once you've done that, we, are, we should be good to go. It should be on our iPad. So what we're going to do, or on my iPhone, so what we're going to do, we're going to look in the iPhone and make sure that we have those games. Okay, so now the moment of truth. We have our Minecraft on my phone open back up. And so let's now go in and let's click play. And let's see what we have. Look there, we have the worlds back. The worlds came back. Combination Brody and Test came over to the iPhone. Now, remember the new world that we created when it was blank because our brother <laughs> deleted all the worlds? Now it is gone because when you restore from a backup, it will replace any worlds that are on your device at that moment. So if you um, are thinking you're going to add a bunch of worlds, onto this device that you have from another device, it won't work this way. We're going to show you in the next video how to do that. But right now in this video, what we showed you is how to restore from a backup and bring all of those worlds onto a new device or a device that you just got Minecraft on um, that you want to copy the worlds that you had from another device onto this device, which 
was no worlds. Remember that. We're bringing worlds over onto this device, and it's going to replace any worlds that we have on that device with the worlds that we had saved on our computer. So, great. I hope that this has helped you. Remember to watch part three of this series. Part three will show you how to bring one world, two worlds, three worlds from another Minecraft world, from another device, onto this device. And so we're going to have, where we're going to be is, instead of having just combination Brody and Test, we'll have those three worlds, and then we're going to add a couple new worlds to this in the next video. So until we see you then again in that next video, bye!